Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again today. Today I am starting my Christmas decoration. Um, I actually kind of started a little bit. You can kind of see here on this tail behind me. I came up easier for it to turn around and show you. I will in a minute. But today I'm pulling out some Christmas glassware, like tumblers and mugs that I have. And also I have a little collection of pink Christmas trees that I kind of started last year, a couple years ago, and this year I got a few more, like as in the past month or two. Um, so I'm excited to put those out. I have my little tree pile over here, my glasses over in the kitchen. So I'm gonna get those set up, and I think there was something else. I think that was it. Sorry, I got the lights, the light lines coming down. I don't know why it's doing that. So starting with that today, I usually start Christmas decorating a little bit earlier in November. This year, I just didn't feel like it. I know in years past, forever ago, I used to start after Thanksgiving, but over the years, I've enjoyed listening to the mu Christmas music and decorating. Early. Every year is a little different. So at this point in time, a couple of days before Thanksgiving, I've decided to go ahead and start and just have you guys come along with me and just kind of fun to, to do it. I did want to quick show you this. I really, really love this setup. I actually got this old mirror for free locally, but um, I love it in this little corner. I love the tree that I got. I got this tree at Hobby, yeah, Hobby Lobby um, a few weeks back, and then I actually got this really cute little snowman globe pedestal thingy. I don't know what you call it, um, but it lights up. Like it actually takes batteries and it lights up. The, the little lights are really dim right now. Like I need to put new batteries in it, but I just love it. I got it at my local grocery store. Did I say that? I'm sorry, I didn't say that. But I just love it. It's so sweet. So I love this little spot right here by the front door. It's just I love it. It's so cool. It just makes me happy. I love this really, really tall tree. I just, I don't know if you can tell, but it really sparkles. Spark, sparkle, oops, I'm not moving it. But all right, on to the next bit. Okay, here's the spot where I want to put my pink Christmas trees. Actually, I didn't really clean it up very well. That's just below. Anyway, I'm gonna remove some of these items off of here. These might go back, I'm not sure, but for the moment I'm gonna take them off because I just feel like they're gonna be kind of in the way. So, uh, what am I gonna do next? Okay, so I'm gonna start with the box. I think the Christmas trees I've had in years past and start with those. I grabbed this box out of the garage. It said pink Christmas trees. I hope that it's actually in here. Oh, good, it is. But if it's not, I gotta start all over. Oh, I forgot about some of these. Can you see them? Ah. It's funny, I, I love pulling stuff out around Christmas time because half the time I forget what I have. And some of these are new. This is actually a little tree I got off of Etsy. I got a gift card from my brother-in-law and sister-in-law and that's what I got off of Etsy. It's a little glass tree, it's so pretty. I can't remember what shop I got it from, so apologies um, for that. This, oops, it's kind of hard. I got this little tree, I love this, at a little antique shop. It's like an antique slash craft shop and I believe someone had made this when I was paying for it, the lady at the register was like, oh, I wonder whose booth this is. She's like, yeah, she does a lot of great stuff. And then this, this was a real cheap item. I think I got it uh, with Bed Bath & Beyond. I can't remember. It's a little rough, but I like the pink and I like the kind of ombre thing going on there. Uh, oh, yeah. So, oh, this was just Dollar Tree. I think it's just for holding your rings, but it, was pink and it kind of looked like a uh, Christmas tree. So, like that. Great. And some of these items I've kind of gotten recently. If you've seen some of my other videos, you might have seen them. I got this darling, beautiful, sparkly, spectacular pink tree at Cracker Barrel. I actually think, yeah, this one lights up. So I'm going to put that on. I think I'll put that in the back. I think this is my, I think this is my tallest one. And then I got this other one. I got this recently at five below. Why didn't take the tag off? I just ripped it. Oh, no. I don't want to rip that because I might, might bend it. But I'll, I'll get scissors later and cut that off. Actually, this might be taller. Little by little bit, yeah. They actually had some of these at, wait, no. This is Hobby Lobby. Did I say five below? They had some at five below that looked very similar to this. And they're like $2.50. But they they were kind of junky looking, so I decided not to at the time. And then I got this. I went to Hobby Lobby because I knew I'd seen these. 
and it was $8.99, but everything was like 60% off, so it came to three something, four something. It was only like a couple bucks or a buck something more than the five below one, but it was way better condition. So there's that. And do I have one more? I have one more. Hold on. This one I got. Where did I get this one? Oh, yeah, this is the other Hobby Lobby one I got. I forgot about this one. Yes. Oh, I love this. It's so cute. I'm going to get a little bit closer to the camera. One second here so you can play it. Oops, oops. Where, where's the, the lens? Over here. Oh, over here. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm way not in shot at all. But this is really cute. This also takes batteries, which I have to put in yet. It doesn't have them, but that'll be cute. Maybe what I'll do is I'll pause this and I'll go um, get some batteries and put in this. So now I gotta figure out how to display this. All right. Should I kind of do it like this? Yes. I'll probably play around with this a few times even after this video. So this, whatever you see in this end video probably won't be the end result. I have a feeling I'll probably move these around a little bit. See, how does that look? Look at the lens. Well, not too bad. I kind of like that. Very nice. All right, for now, for now that'll work. Um, I wanna go get some scissors and cut off the tag on this one. I want some batteries for this one. So I do want to kind of see what this one looks like lit up. But granted, it probably won't show a whole lot right now because of the bright lights. So I don't, it might be better in the evening time. I'm gonna go take up some batteries and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the batteries in. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Wait, where's it going? Oh, for heaven's sake, Holly. Okay. Nice. It really does, the little lights do light up. It's hard to see in this lighting. For now, I'm going to turn it off because during the daytime, I'm not really going to need it. It actually says timer. Like, it says on, off, and timer. I'm not sure what they mean by timer. Maybe it only goes on when it's, like, dark out. I, I don't know. I don't see any, like, sensor on it. All right. Oh, I'm happy with that. Very cute. All right. On to the kitchen. Sorry, guys. I was starting to edit this whole thing, and... I realized I never did a close-up of these pink trees. When I went back to watch it, I realized how far away everything was. And I also forgot these little trees, these little tiny ones, were in my car. I got them from Dollar Tree this year. So if you like them, they should still be in stores, but I just, I thought they were really sweet. And for a dollar for three, I figured it wasn't bad. But I wanted to do, I wanted to do just a quick zoom up on this, just because I think it looks so much better when you're close to it. I didn't realize quite how far away the camera was. I probably should have zoomed in a little bit more. But I really wanted to show this one up close because I forgot to zoom in. It almost reminds me of like mercury glass, but with pink. And it is glass. It is just so pretty. Again, I got this from Etsy and I cannot remember the shop's name. It was quite a while ago. Um, it's just a little homemade thing someone had made. But I just wanted to show again real quick. I just, I just get a kick out of pink trees. I actually told my husband the other day that I was really tempted to get one of those floor standing pink trees. Uh, I saw, I think Big Lots has them, Lowe's has them. I don't know if I want to spend money on that right now, but um, I'm honestly really tempted. I think I have a corner in my, my um, kitchen I could put it in. But um, anyway, I'm not sure where in the video I'm gonna plug this in, maybe in the middle, maybe at the tail end. So if it's a tail end, thanks for watching. Middle, thanks for watching. Either way, um, I'll try and make it work, but <laughs> here you go. Okay, uh, next part is my kitchen shelf, or my kitchen shelves. Use proper English there. So right now it's a little haphazard because the middle shelf where all the glasses are, a lot of them we've used, I have a bunch of dirty dishes kind of stacked behind me so you can't see them, but usually that's pretty packed. Um, so I'm gonna pull all those down and then all these mugs I'm gonna pull all these down and actually the top shelf as well I'm going to take all the Pyrex and Fire King off and try and rearrange uh, some of that so this is kind of what it looks like usually it's half empty like this because we're constantly using glasses and uh, I don't really have one full set of dishes <laughs> except for the mugs like I tried to be intentional about having one set um, I did get the snowflake garland mugs recently so I did add those to the stash but I have a really hard time sticking to one set of glasses. Like I would like to, but I find all kinds of vintage glassware at thrift stores and I just, I love each and every one and it's kind of fun to grab a different glass every time. The only problem is with displaying, especially with open shelves like this, it's not always the, um, it doesn't really pull your eye, like it doesn't pull you in. Like it's not very eye-catching, I guess is what I'm trying to say. 
but it's fun for us if we like the variety. Someday I would like to have a few different actual sets of glasses so I can still have variety, but not like 15 different kinds of glasses. But actually my Christmas glassware is kind of that way. So anyway, I'm, I'm busy talking. Um, I wanna get decorating. So I'm going to, I'm showing you what it looks like beforehand. I'm gonna take most of what you're seeing down and then I'll start to pull up the, um, the Christmas items and then we'll go from there. All right, perfect, all empty. Now, what the plan is, um, I think I'm in shot here. Hopefully I'm in shot. I'm going to start with, I guess whatever's closest to me. I'm gonna tell you up front, these glasses are not clean. So I'm just gonna put them up and display them and then I promise I will clean them before my family uses them. So these have been in my, these have been in my basement for some of them since summer and some since last year. So I'm just gonna put them up and display them how I want them. I also have a couple um, Christmas Pyrex bowls I'm gonna put up, maybe something else up on the top shelf and just go from there. So basically just laying it out. But don't, I know I'll be putting stuff out of boxes and putting on shelves. So if you're wondering, are this clean? They're not, I will clean them, <laughs> I promise. When the video's over, that will be off camera obviously because that would be boring. So, but I will wash, wash it all, all right. I think I said that like three times already, so I just want to make sure that that is clear. So I think I'm going to start, actually, since my Costco stool's here, I'm going to start with the bowls that I want from the top shelf. I don't have a whole lot of stuff to put on the top shelf yet, so I'm just going to start with what I have. And then probably in the next couple weeks, I'll probably add a couple more like Christmas decorations up at the top. So we'll see how that goes. Um, oops, I have this page here, sorry. Maybe I'll edit this for you. <laughs> to buy accident fall out like I lifted the box up and it tipped heaven forbid or someone else pulled the box out you know so, all right this is one of my most favorite um pyrex bowls it's a christmas one my husband got this for me a few years back and uh, i just love it it's it was pristine condition i don't think it's ever used in fact i've only ever used it to put like cookies in so hopefully you can can you see that yeah so it's a very lovely it's very pretty so that's up here right. and then it's all in here well it's here oh, I've been moving so much stuff around today I've got like dust in the corner of my eye I can feel it it's just crazy and my other Christmas Pyrex bowl love this it's so pretty hope you can see that it is a little smudgy I am probably gonna wash that one as well and now those can go up there okay all right so that was a lot of work. Uh, I was not going to put them up dirty. I just couldn't take it. I'm like, nope, nope, can't do it, can't do it. Like as I was pulling out each glass, they're all covered in old newspapers. Some from the garage um, had dead bugs on them. And I know we've got mice in our garage in our, in our, and in our basement. There's always evidence of it. So that's disgusting. I'm like, nope, 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 can't do it, can't do it. I gotta wash it off. And as I was washing everything and pulling it out of boxes, um, I'm really glad that I kind of stopped the video because I had to unwrap each individual one and then I was missing a box. So I went down to the basement, I found one, and then I'm like, these still aren't all my Christmas mugs. Like, where are all my Christmas mugs? I'm like, oh, I think I have another whole separate box out in the garage. So I had to go out there and like, oh gosh. So this ended up being more of a pain in the butt than I realized. So these Christmas glasses might stay up till St. Patrick's Day. Like, I don't want to have to box up everything. I still have a whole pile of glassware that I had up here and that are in my dishwasher that I have to box away. Or, yeah, box, put away, put in boxes. So, oh my gosh, this ended up being way more work than I thought it was going to be. You know, I'm thinking, oh, make a fun Christmas video. Pull out all your Christmas vintage stuff. It'll be fun. It'll be a good idea. <laughs> oh, Lord, I got a headache. So, also, though, I did realize, I'm going to show you this. I totally forgot I had this. This eggnog set, hopefully it'll show up. Let's see where I am. Where am I here? Somewhere here. Anyway, I had this old eggnog set that um, we got years ago, the Fire King. So I'm gonna put that in or on the top shelf and kind of go from there. But um, I kept the snowflake garland mugs up just because I figured I, they got snowflakes on them. So they're kind of year round. So 
I'm going to start with getting the stuff in this box up on the top shelf and um, let some of these dry a little bit. They're still wet and then we'll kind of go from there, I guess. Okay, I'm going to start in the lower shelf where I'm going to put all the mugs and then as I work my way up, I'll move my camera up because I have a little more zoomed in so you can kind of see, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Actually, I'm going to move this. This is going to be driving me crazy. All right, there we go. Much better. All right. So, actually what I'm also going to do is move this butter dish. I forgot about this. I'm actually going to try and look for something Christmassy for butter and then this little creamer can go because I'm going to find another creamer as well. And I have my little sugar bowl here. Here it is. But, oh yeah. Got this from the other day from the, sorry, making sure you can see it, <laughs> from uh, uh, Go to Go. So I'm going to put that up here. And I usually put my sandwich plates over here and dinner plates at, like lunch sorry lunch plates I think sandwiches for lunch uh lunch and dinner I think you have bowls here if I really run out of space then I'll get rid of these snowflake garland ones I just want to make sure I've got room for everything usually I stack my mugs but some of my Christmas ones I want to kind of like stack them in tiers because I kind of want to see most of them so uh, I'm going to start with these these are the corny ones I think I got four of these from flea market last summer I think it was like a dollar each like a lot of these I got she got some of the butter here I got a really good deal like I don't like to buy I don't like to spend a whole lot of money I'm really cheap that way the only one the only mug here I might have been on the pricier side was this um, Pyrex mug my husband got this for me he gets me my nice stuff um, so I like that one put that one up here so you can see oh I have a snoop oh here it is I'm like I have a snoopy one here too this one this one might have been one of my other nicer ones. Um, actually, I got this from, I think this is the only item I ever bought off the Goodwill online thingy. And actually, I was really impressed. It was pricey, but it was wrapped really, really well. Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to see Snoopy. This is hard because I want to see them all. See, I can stack the similar ones. I don't know. This is going to, we're all trying there. Let me just get them up. And we'll kind of go from there. But has anyone started Christmas decorating yet? Is this is this something that you wait till like the day after Thanksgiving, or are you like starting end of October, early November? I know everyone's a little bit different. You know, growing up, my mom would always do like the day after Thanksgiving. We'd pull up, like all the the boxes and start decorating. It was so much fun. Just start playing her. She always had the cassette tapes of uh, the Carpenters, John Denver, Andy Williams. I think they also had the Chipmunks. Played all of those. It was nice. I love these little mugs. I got these. These are from Japan. I've got, I've got like um, Christmas mugs from Mexico, Japan. What was the other one? Mexico, Japan. Oh, I'm having a brain fart. But anyway, they're from like all over. I love, love, love Christmas vintage. Very fun. And these are glass bake, I believe. Yeah, these are glass bake. These are these I can stack. So I'm gonna put these over here for a moment because I want them to secure and oh get some over here. Alright, so in this one, I think this is corning. I think it's a bit earlier. Yeah. So that one can go over here. I've done a little tree. I'll put this up here so you can see the tree. I'll try and keep stacked to keep it. So this up here just for the moment. Alright, and then this, I like this mug. I got this from Goodwill. Oh, 99 cents I got it for. It's an Andy Warhol pattern, I guess. It says Andy Warhol on it, so. Like that. Not pretty. And, oh, these. <clears throat> so, well, these are more like little teacups, but they, I still like the holly leaves and berries on them. So, actually, I'll put that here. Kind of arranged just so. And then do these here like that. And then I have these little old vintage. You probably shouldn't even drink out of them anymore. This one has a crack in it, but I just like the little Santas. It was 1960 on them. I don't put those there. That's cute. And then I'll take my sugar bowl. Eventually I'm gonna find a little creamer and have it on here too. Yeah, okay, it looks festive, right? That's cute. Can you see it? See, so I probably should have checked that before I put everything out there. Oh yeah, that works. Very nice. Okay. Mugs are done, so let's do tumblers. Let's move up. Oh, 
a little bit. There we go. Okay. Hopefully you can see. Okay, I can probably zoom in a little bit more. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. Um, so I have a whole variety of ones here, so let's try and try and group the similar ones. And we'll put a few up here and just kind of go. I wish you can see those. I have some of these holly leaf ones. I, I'm not sure where I got these. A lot of these are just thrift store and flea market, um, quite honestly. Actually, I'm not even gonna put these all the way back because I don't think I've, I have quite that many. These, oh, I love these. These are, sorry, some of these are a little bit of water. I'm kind of going over to my sink and just kind of dumping out a little bit of the water. These are, oh gosh, it was a Fred Press. Fred Press. I got these, how many do I have? One, two, three, I've got five. They're three dollars for the set at my local thrift store. Can you see these at all? I'm trying to see. Oh yeah, here we go. So I'm really trying to figure out how to do this. Oh, that's too close. Okay, well I'll just do. That. I'll zoom up later. You can see everything if you want. That. This I'll do three D. I'm trying to keep some of these together. Now some of these are just like random ones. If I need more Christmas glasses, my local um, thrift store has a couple um, Santa Claus Coke ones. I think they have two different ones. I might I might go snag those because I think I'm gonna have space for it. But oh, I have another one of these. Um, all right, I'll do this 3D. That's fine. There we go. And this was a random one I found. I can't remember where I got this. Oh, Goodwill it says it on there. So I'll just put that there. The lone Christmas tree. No Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Had these really adorable Holly Hobby Christmas Coke glasses. I actually got these from a local friend. Her mom had had a yard sale and some leftovers, and she was wondering if I wanted these. Like, yeah, so I went over and bought those. I think I paid $10 for, is there eight of them? I don't know what, I don't know. Actually, I don't know how many she had, because some I might have gotten from a thrift store. Oh gosh, I couldn't tell you now. But how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, do have eight. Okay. So should I do three deep or two deep? Let's go two deep and then I can do four rows. And then I think there's four little Holly Hobby characters. I'll try and have each one represented in the front here. So I'm kind of like a mixture here. Um, yeah, so I'll get the white one. So green, white, red, and then, oh, this is like a dancing, dancing couple. So that's perfect. No, we don't want any doubles. Okay, wow, this is actually making me really happy. <laughs> I have to say, now that I have them all up here, like the work is worth it. Like now that they've all been washed, I don't have to pull them back down again. Like these little, these might have been photo folders, but I thought these might be nice for you know a little bit stronger drink if you want something a little bit. Put these back here. Uh, actually, I'll put them in front of the so you can see them and the tree. Okay, now I'm gonna put the. I think I'm actually gonna put the eggnog bowl in the middle of the top shelf. Oops, I'm sorry, just kidding. My... And then move, oops, oh, I'm too close. This green bowl over here, put the um, eggnog one right here. I feel like it's kind of hard to see though. Um, let me make my tripod a little bit taller. I think I can do that one second. Okay, oops, sorry for the wobble. Ah, it's not wobbling. All right, I got my tripod really, really tall here. I probably could go a tad taller if I put the legs up, but I think this will work. Okay. So hopefully you'll just see without me being in the way. I can just do this this way. All right. So I haven't we haven't used this in years because even though we drink eggnog, like we're not oops. Usually we just kind of pour it out of the carton and call it good, but do this carefully. Very carefully. Dusty up there. All right, well, whatever. Do that. I'm gonna take this over. What I kind of want to do later on for this top shelf. I don't know if you, I think you can see that. Okay, I will. I will go over everything later. So if you're missing something, I'll kind of do like close again. Um, I want to get. I think I have some Christmas other Christmas tree things I can put on like either side. Like I want to put some kind of other Christmas decor up here. I'm not sure what yet. Oh, and I did buy string lights, colored string lights. I'm going to try and a string um, on this then here in a little bit. So let me get these little mugs set up here. What was cool about this eggnog set is 
we got this from a guy who used, used to live across the street from us where we used to live in the next county over and he would go to the auction and get boxes and boxes of stuff and then he had his own little shop he just sell stuff really cheap and we got this over there it's in the original box came with the ladle like where's the oh it's a little thing came with the original ladle fun and festive and so yeah but we never got around to really using it ah oh let me put a stack of this this might be slightly dangerous okay i'm all right i'm all right oh lord let's let's do this like this you can see them all might as well use the space i got the shelf space i gotta be careful i got a ceiling fan right behind me <laughs> You hear a thump, 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 just my arm or head hitting it. All right, there we go. Okay, I think that works. Can you guys see? I can't see my screen very well. Oh, I like that. That's cool. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, let's get, see if the string lights work. One second, I'm gonna bring this down. I'll be right back. Okay, here are the finished shelves. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks very festive. So I have all my mugs down here, obviously. I just adore these little made in Japan mugs. I just love the details on them. They're so sweet. I actually have uh, three of the four. There's actually one more that belongs to this set. I only have the three. So I wouldn't mind eventually finding the fourth one. I've got about six of these. There's a snowflake garland I'm leaving out. And these darling little... Oh, make a good thumbnail. I was going to use something else, but I think that'll work. A little sugar bowl. I really would love to find a creamer to match. Mm. Got these. I should do this this way so you can see Snoopy. There you go. That's better. I'm just going to stack some of those in the back. That. And then up here we have the tumblers and the little, not really shot glasses, they're more like juice glasses. Again, I think these were probably uh, used for like votive, like candle holders. But um, the holly leaf ones, I think these might be Libby. No, oh, there's still water in that one. <laughs> Sorry. And then let's, let's get that out of there. I love these Fred Press ones because they, they have this texture on them. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see if you look in the edge. Let's see if I can find the Fred Press thing on here. I didn't know these even existed until I found them. Can I zoom in a little bit more? Here we go. They're fantastic. I love it. And the Holly Hobby ones, I'll eat at those. Aren't they? They're so fun. And then way up here in the reach, eggnog bowl, glasses, Christmas Pyrex, and then mixing bowl. I've actually used that red bowl a lot for making cookies. I have a mixer, but it's just kind of fun to hand mix cookies in that bowl. It just feels very Christmassy. But, um, but yeah, I was actually going to string up the color lights that I have. Like this is actually the box over here. I got these the other day. These are probably in one of my videos. Half the string works, half does not. And I checked all the light bulbs that were not working and they all look fine. So I think it's the fuse. But I'm not sure if this, I think these are older and I don't know if you can actually change the fuse. Can you turn it? Okay. Um, so it needs a fuse, I think. So I don't know if I can, if it's replaceable or fixable, but I'm going to try because the ones that light are really pretty. But anyway. All right, that's all. Oh, wait, no, real quick, real quick. I forgot. I also have these placed, but I'm not sure where I'm going to put them because I... I'm not quite sure where they're going to go. Maybe somewhere I'll, I'll move things around. But I had got these a while back as well. These Corel plates, these little Christmas ones. It's a little wet and they need to dry off. But I just love the little holly leaf ones. I'm not sure how many I have here, but quite a quite a few. Quite a stash. So these are nice for like little dessert plates or something. But I'll put this somewhere. But anyway. Anyway, Christmas decorating has begun. I mean, it kind of did the other day. And I had that tree and the little snowman globe dome thing but kind of slowly getting started this was way more work than i realized i still have a pile of boxes behind me that i have to put away and all the drinkware that we usually wear 
or drinkware that we usually drink out of or use. Oh my gosh, drinkware that we use. <laughs> oh gosh, I might edit that one out. Or I might just leave it in so you can laugh at me stumbling over my words and saying the wrong thing, you know? If we can't laugh at ourselves, you know. <laughs> Anywho's, I hope you all have a good day. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.